Beauty and the Beast. Today we have a book named Beauty and the Beast Short Stories for Kid. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a small village, nestled deep within a dense forest, there lived a kind and book-loving young woman named Belle. She was known throughout the village for her love of learning, her warm heart, and her beauty, both inside and out. Belle's hair was as dark as midnight, her eyes as deep as the ocean, and her spirit as free as a bird. Belle's story began in her quaint home with her loving father, Maurice. They lived a quiet life together, surrounded by books and the serene beauty of the countryside. Belle's father was an inventor, always creating new gadgets and gizmos, and she loved listening to his stories and helping him with his experiment. The small village they called home was full of well-meaning, but simple-minded townsfolk who couldn't quite understand Belle's love for books and her dreams of far-off adventures. They thought she was peculiar and, therefore, couldn't quite fit in. One fateful day, Maurice set off on a journey to a neighboring village to showcase one of his inventions. Along the way, he became lost in the dark and eerie forest. The wind howled, and the trees seemed to whisper secrets of ancient enchantment. Maurice eventually stumbled upon an ominous castle hidden deep in the wood. He entered the castle hoping to find shelter for the night, but inside he encountered the owner of the castle, a fearsome beast. The beast was a once handsome prince who had been cursed by an enchantress for his selfish and cruel behavior. The enchantress had turned him into a hideous creature, and the only way to break the curse was for someone to love him despite his outward appearance. Maurice was imprisoned by the beast for trespassing, and his horse, Philippe, galloped back to the village to alert Belle about her father's predicament. When Belle learned of her father's fate, she bravely set out on a journey to the mysterious castle to rescue him. As she arrived at the foreboding castle, she found her father in a dungeon. Belle offered to take her father's place as the beast's prisoner, a selfless act that touched the beast's heart. The beast agreed, releasing Maurice, and Belle became the castle's new guest. In the days that followed, Belle found herself living with the beast, a creature who was frightening in appearance, but whose heart was filled with sadness and loneliness. Despite her initial fears, Belle's kindness and gentle spirit began to warm the beast's heart. She discovered a magnificent library within the castle, and her love for books only deepened. As time passed, Belle and the beast spent their days talking, reading, and sharing stories. Belle learned of the curse that had befallen the prince, and she vowed to help him break the spell. The beast, too, found himself drawn to Belle's intelligence, beauty, and caring nature. But a shadow of danger loomed over their budding friendship. Gaston, a boorish and arrogant man from the village who had long desired to marry Belle, hatched a wicked plan to force her into marriage. He rallied the villagers and set off to the castle, where a fearsome confrontation took place. The beast who had truly fallen in love with Belle fought to protect her in the castle. With Gaston's evil intentions exposed, the villagers turned against him. Ultimately, it was Belle's love for the beast and the beast's love for her that broke the curse. His appearance transformed into that of a handsome prince once more, and Belle's kind heart was rewarded. Belle and the prince, now free from the curse, were married in a grand ceremony, surrounded by the enchanted objects in the castle that had once been part of the curse. The village, too, learned to appreciate Belle's uniqueness, 
and she and the prince lived happily ever after. And so, my dear child, that is the end of the story of Beauty and the Beast. It reminds us that true beauty lies within, and love and kindness can transform even the most challenging of situations. Now, close your eyes and let your dreams carry you to a world of enchantment and love. Good night, and may your dreams be as beautiful as Belle's heart. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.